She's the youngest of the four Pevensies. And, um, and nobody, uh, nobody actually takes her points and her opinion seriously before the, the, the story begins. But I read the book, got the tape, and then listened to the tape for, that's a good story, let's read the book. So I read the book as well. And so, yeah, I'm quite a fan of Lion, Witch and Wardrobe. He is like me. He is the tyrant of the family, which I am. And, um, yeah, he succumbs to the temptation very easily. Aslan is the um, lion that um, created Narnia, um, which you can see from the uh, magician's nephew. And um, he's been away for ages, and that's why the White Witch has come in and, like, taken over the land. And, um, yeah, he's the only one that can defeat the White Witch. Peter is the eldest brother. Um, he fits into the story as the High King. Um, he, he goes on this arc within the story. He sort of starts as this young boy, and he's, and, and he, and he's trying to always please his mum. He's trying to always do what's right for the family, what he perceives as right. Put it really simply. When Peter steps through the wardrobe, he's a boy. When Peter steps back out of the wardrobe, when he finally finishes, he's, he's a man. I think Andrew's a really good director. And he knows what he wants, you know? He's like, and he's really tactful about it as well. And it's, I think, I think because Andrew's worked with animation, he's got a good, um, and he's worked with some pretty amazing actors, he's got a good insight to how these different actors think. She comes in, she comes away from home and she, you know, very much feels um, like Peter, the responsibility of looking after her younger brother and sister and of that whole responsibility of being away from home when you take on the motherly role and you, you, you're uncomfortable with it, but you have to make everything seem okay. When she gets into Narnia, um, she almost doesn't believe she's there. It's, you know, I, well, I'm just dreaming or something. And throughout, throughout, over the course of Narnia, she gradually loosens up and becomes more open to the idea of there being this magical land. Um, and by the end, it, it's changed her for the better because she becomes, she, d she becomes not afraid to be a child. There's a connection between the four of us. And here in New Zealand, we're all kind of treated like a family unit. And so we treat each other like a family unit. And because we're going through the whole experience and the whole adventure together, they just feel like brothers and sisters now. <laughs> Thank you.